Very briefly, I will set up where we are in terms of the AMS on competition policy and law, and I will set up the seven steps taken to foster a competition aware region in ASEAN. The progress of the CPL implementation in AMS has been positive. There are comprehensive competition laws in place in all nine AMS, with the exception of Cambodia, where its draft law is currently being deliberated at the Council of Ministers before elevation to the Parliament. Laos, PDR and Myanmar obtained recent approval for the establishment of their respective competition commission, while Thailand is in the process of setting up its commission. Vietnam's amended competition law takes into effect on 1st July 2019, allows the creation of a single competition authority empowered to make administrative decisions, while Indonesia's amendments to its law, which enable stronger enforcement powers, are still pending in this parliament. Four 2019 priorities were identified, which are the development of a guidance document for peer review, a set of in-house, second a set of in-house tools for training of competition agency staff, focusing on market studies. Third, a toolkit on national enforcement strategies. And fourth, a research paper on commonalities and differences in competition legislations in AMS, with a view towards developing strategies for convergence of legislation. To foster a competition-aware region, uh, we have strategic goal four, which comprise of initiatives to enhance the understanding of the public on the benefits of competition policy and law, and ensure better business compliance. ASEAN also hopes to foster a good competition culture, including enhancing media's understanding of competition issues. This goal also seeks to strengthen dialogues between AEGC and other ASEAN sectoral bodies, including the telecommunications officials, to discuss specific competition issues relevant to the sector and the means to strengthen cooperation between the ASEAN bodies. This is an important pillar of our work as we recognize the cross-cutting nature of anti-competitive conducts and the importance to build strong ties with other sectors to ensure the effective compliance to the law. Uh, we have identified seven steps in which we have taken to pursue uh, competition advocacy. And these are as follows. I'll, I'll start by elaborating them uh, very briefly, each of them. The first is the AEGC itself has published a toolkit for competition advocacy in ASEAN to provide guidance to competition agencies on developing their competition advocacy plan, implementing advocacy activities, and monitoring and evaluating its advocacy activities. The second, the Competition Compliance Toolkit for businesses in ASEAN provides the basic principles of competition law benefits of competition compliance, guidelines on implementing an internal competition compliance program in the ASEAN context, and awareness building guidelines for younger competition agencies. The third is the Handbook on Competition Policy and Law in ASEAN for Business, which aims to provide basic notions of the substantive and procedural aspects of competition laws in each AMS for businesses and relevant stakeholders. As encouraged by the ASEAN Competition Action Plan 2025, the handbook will be updated regularly with the upcoming update to be expected in 2020. The fourth, since 2011, the ASEAN Competition Conference has been an annual platform for competition experts and relevant stakeholders from within and outside the region to exchange developments as well as current competition issues and the possible way forward. The conference hopes to promote good competition practices and enhances mutual partnerships and cooperation towards a competitive ASEAN. The eighth ASEAN 
competition conference will be held in November 2019 in Cambodia. The fifth to, to update the um, to update the public and relevant stakeholders on the achievements of the AEGC, the annual report has been published since 2016 annually. The annual report highlights on key priorities of the particular year, cooperation with development partners, development of competition law and policy in each ASEAN member states. And one of the uh, initiatives under the ASEAN Competition Action Plan 2025 is to strengthen the interface between competition policy issues and other economic areas by undertaking dialogues between the AEGC and other ASEAN sectoral bodies to foster a competition culture and develop a culture of compliance among businesses and relevant market players in ASEAN. The AEGC recognizes that authorities cannot work in silos. The interface workshops have been held between competition, competition and sector regulators within the aviation telecommunication and construction sectors. The next interface workshop is scheduled to be held with the energy regulators. And finally, the ASEAN Competition Business Perception Index is currently being developed as a tool to gauge business awareness and confidence in the competition system. That is all. Thank you.